What's up guys, Blisto here and welcome to my first episode of the class covering for Legion. This time I will be talking about the Hunters. I will be covering in this uh, series every class in World of Warcraft except for the Demon Hunters because they are not currently in the game. Um, I will talk about the changes they are making, at least as far as we know. We don't know everything about the class, we, we, we do have some details about what they are changing. Um, and I will just talk about that. And we're starting with the hunter this time. Um, and the hunters, are, yeah, they're changing a lot. They still have the three main specs. They got beast mastery, survival, and marksmanship. Uh, and first of all, we will talk about beast mastery hunters. Um, Blizzard thinks beast mastery hunters are in a good place overall, but they changed and refined some existing abilities and talents to um, better differentiate them from other hunters. So. It like uh, makes them stand apart more from the, uh, different from other hunters. They are focusing more on um, the beasts. Beast Master Hunter is going to be focused more on beasts. Um, one of the f um, one of the things they are changing, for example, is Dire Beast. Dire Beast isn't going to be an, um, a talent anymore. It's going to be a core Beast Master Hunter ability. And what it basically does. Uh, it summons a powerful wild beast to attack your target for 8 seconds. Well, that already was what, what it was doing. Um, each time the beast deals damage, you will gain 4 focus. But the thing that changed, it has only a 10 second cooldown. So you can have almost entire uptime for the dire beast. Um, summoning, a be summoning a beast reduces the re remaining cooldown of bestial ref by 15 seconds. I will talk about bestial ref later on. But... This means you can almost always have a dire beast up. So you can almost always have two beasts at the same time. Your main pet and your dire beast. And your dire beast um, is um, uh, fo uh, regenerating focus. Um, you don't. I don't know if you still have steady shot, yes or no, because they're not talking about that. But I do know that dire beast... That. Another ability the beast mother hunters are getting is a cobra shot. It costs 30 focus. And it's instant, so it's basically arcane shot for beast mastery hunters, kind of. Um, that's yeah, that's all. Um, we also have kill command. Kill command is staying. Um, it's just basically the same. It has cost. Uh, it costs 20 focus now. Uh, it used to cost 40 focus in Wild Adrenal, but at the moment, at this build of Legion, it's co costing 20 focus. Once uh, the beta is opening and will have an opportunity to get into the beta I will definitely check out every single class with you guys but still this is all the information we have at the moment um, they also get wild call it's a passive your critical strike have a 30% chance to reset the cooldown of dire beast so that means that you basically always will have a dire beast up at all times. Critical Strike is going to be a pretty important stat in Legion because your Dire Beast is generating focus. If you have more than one Dire Beast up at the same time, you're generating more focus. If you have a 100% uptime for, for Dire Beast, you generate a lot of focus. You can do so much damage. You can just pumping Cobra shots and kill commands. You do so much damage. This is going to be insane. This passive is pretty. Pretty, pretty cool. I think Beastmaster Hunters are going to be very, very cool in Legion. You can just summon a lot of Dire Beasts. You can have like Stampede without having the talent in uh, Legion. So that's pretty insane. That's, that's, that's really cool, I think. Um, they also changed the mastery. Um, increase the damage done by your pet by 45%. I don't know if they changed it actually. I have no idea what the mastery for Beastmaster Hunters is at the moment. But that's just basically some core abilities the Beastmaster Hunter are getting. They also write something about the gameplay. Beastmaster were already in a good place overall, but we've refined existing abilities and talents to better differentiate them from other hunters. Previously, Crowbar Shot filled all of your uh, free moments in combat, leaving no time for managing your pet. Which should be defining char characteristic for beast masteries, beast masters. To this end, and to aid in focus accumulation, Dire Beast is now the core beast mastery um, focus regenerator, allowing you to repeatedly summon wild beasts that generate additional focus. So that was what I was talking about. The Dire Beast is going to be insane. It's going to generate so much focus. I think beast mastery hunters are going to be really cool. Let's move on to, to the survival hunters. Um, 
to tell you guys, survival hunters are the only hunters pack with traps in Legion. So, beastmaster hunters and marksman hunters won't have traps. They will have different ways to uh, CC people. I have no idea how. They didn't say that in this uh, post, but they said that only survival hunters will have traps. Not only do survival hunters use melee weapons instead of ranged weapons, they are also now the only hunters that make use of traps, they say. All those packs will receive forms of counter control and AWDM's um, um, char characteristic to their spec. Survival hunter will snare and bleed their enemies, fighting them in close quarters with all their trustworthy companion to with that trustworthy companion to maximize the brutality of the hunt. They have no direct control over focus regeneration, that's really different now, but instead pull it up dur during the success successive mungo's bites so you can't really use your focus on your own but you generate it with mungo's bite and probably use the different abilities so here are some core abilities the survival hunters we have harpoon uh, hurl, a, hurl a harpoon at your target and pull yourself toward them rooting them in place for three seconds basically death grip pretty awesome pretty awesome raptor strike they used to have this already in uh, pre uh, pre mr Panaria. 20 focus, melee range instant, a vicious slash dealing moderate physical damage. Just um, a normal melee attack. Because survival hunters are going to be a melee spec in Legion. That's pretty 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 hype, right? A, a melee hunter spec in Legion. I think I'm going to play a lot of hunter. Um, we also have Lacoration. It costs 35 focus, melee range, instant 10 second cooldown. Tear around in the target, dealing heavy damage over 12 seconds. Underneath it says, developer comment, we will promise it will do good damage. So they will basically get an, uh, a bleed on a 10 second cooldown, which will last for 12 seconds. I have no idea if you can stack these, but um, at least you can have 100% uptime for them. Then we have Mongo's Bite. This is what, what I was talking about earlier. It's a melee range, instant 10 second recharge time, and it has 3 charges. It's a brutal attack attempting to sever the enemy's limbs. Dealing strong physical damage. Each cons consecutive Mungo's bite deal dealt within three and a half seconds of the la of the last one will deal 50% increased damage, stacking up to, up to six times. So if you use six times Mungo's bite, you will have like 300% extra damage. It's going to a lot of damage. Um, but of course, you only have three charges, but they will also have something. Which will uh, chance to grant you an additional charge of Mongo's by that is your mastery for survival hunters. Um, your pets have a 20% chance with mastery from typical gear to chance to grant you additional charges of Mongo's bite. So if you just have those Mongo's bites um, stack up to six times, you're doing 300% with Mongo's bite. Just that's so much damage. It's insane. I swear that's insane. Flanking strike, 20 focus, 25 yard range. Um, give the command to kill. It's like kill shot, I think. It's also 20 focus, and it's also gives your pet a command to kill. I don't know. I think it's similar. I don't know. And we have wing clip, 30 focus instant, maims the target, reducing their movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. Um, so the survival hunters are changing a lot. Like they're changing so much that it's getting going to be uh, a melee spec with a pet. You don't have self-control of focus. It's recharging with, I think, um, over time or something. It doesn't really say how it's going to re re be recharging, but probably over time or with abilities, uh, like uh, your pet attacks or something. Um, and yeah, they are only spec going to be with traps. Okay, let's move on to the marksman ship hunters. They're changing the marksman ship pretty much a lot. Um, the lone wolf gameplay introduced in Warlords in general provided extremely popular with hunters and that playstyle fit perfectly with our vision of marksmanship hunters as masters of archers and snipers relying on their skills and precisions with weapons rather than animal companions. All marksman hunters now gain the lone wolf by default so you don't have a wolf ranging through the wilds without a pet besides them. On the resource front the marksman now gains focus from the use of arcane shot. So arcane shot is not going to use focus it's going to generate focus and as a note for those who enjoyed the previous version of survival gameplay we have moved certain abilities such as black arrow and lock and load to marksman specific talents that's awesome here's a basic look at the, uh, some of the abilities for marksman we have arcane shot it's a 40 yard range and instant 
uh, a quick shot that causes moderate arcane damage and, regen and generating 5 focus. So you can just spam arcane shot, that's what I see here, and generate focus and do some damage. I think so. I don't know, it doesn't have a cast time on anything, you can just spam it, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Zeke Vulnerabilities. Uh, it's a passive. Targets hit by your arcane shot and multi shot have a chance to be marked with Hunter's Mark for 6 seconds. Pretty basic. Uh, marked shot, 30 focus, 40 yards range, channeled. Rapidly fires a shot at up to 3 tar tar targets affected by Hunter's Mark. So you have to affect um, the targets you are hitting with this ability by Hunter's Mark first. Dealing strong physical damage and useful while moving. Also exposes vulnerability in the target, snaring them for 15% and increasing aim at shot damage done by to the target by 25%. Last 10 seconds and stacks up to 3 times. So you can do 75% increased damage with aim at shot. I think you have to use like once and then another time and then another time you have to use 3 times the ability to that I guess I don't know and we have aim at shot 50 focus 40 yard range one half one on one and a half second cost it's just aim at shot still the same and then we have something awesome mastery uh, oh no this is not the awesome part uh, critical strike damage and range of all shots is increased by 12 and percent with mastery from typical gear okay but this is one of the talents they are giving to marksman you can choose as marksman lock and load passive attach an explosive charge to aim at shot dealing strong additional fire damage to the target and all enemies within four yards so that's basically explosive shots which survival hunters have at the moment but then for Marksman ship hunters, that's that's awesome. And also your ranged auto attacks have a five percent chance to trigger lock and load, causing your next two aim shots to cost no focus and be instant. So you get two instant aim shots, and that's insane. That's so strong. So basically, these are the changes for hunters in. Uh, World of Warcraft Legion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, share the video with your friends, and comment if you like the hunters. Next up, I'm going to cover the priest that should be coming online tomorrow or Wednesday. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye.